I welcome you my YouTube channel VAT the best mechanical engineering in this video I teach you what is sensible heat and what is latent heat now sensible and latent are the types of heat energy when we supply heat to the some substance that is a water or gas so heat supply may be sensible or latent now we learn in the detail first we start from the latent heat latent heat means there is a no change in the temperature but there is a change in the phase of the substance if we are supplying heat to the any substance or water okay then its temperature is same but its phase is converted means water is converted into the steam and it is known as the latent heat for latent heat i gave you the two examples now let us assume there is a 1 kg of water at 0 degree centigrade okay this glass is contain the 1 kg of water at 0 degree centigrade and we are absorbing the heat from this water okay we are doing the both the process either absorbing or supplying the heat okay so first we taking the example of how when the heat is absorbing then what happen and if we supplying the heat then what happen now this is a one glass of water at the zero degree centigrade and we absorbing the certain heat from this glass then this water is start to freeze that means water is start to convert into the solid phase and solid phase of the water is known as the ice okay and it is converted into the 1 kg of ice at 0 degree centigrade that means here temperature does not change that is a water at 0 degree centigrade and ice is 0 degree centigrade but its phase is change the water phase is the liquid and here the ice phase is the solid so only the phase change is takes place and what amount of the energy we require to changing this phase it is known as the latent heat of the freezing or latent heat of the ice now similarly opposite process is also takes place that is a 1 kg of ice at 0 degree centigrade and we supplying certain heat to this ice and it is converted into the 1 kg of ice sorry 1 kg of water at 0 degree centigrade and it is also known as the latent heat because the ice to water here the ice it is converted into the water that the temperature is same 0 degree centigrade but state is changed solid to liquid then it is known as the latent heat and it is called as latent heat of ice that is a 335 kilojoule per kg that is a 1 kg of the water and we required to convert into the ice at that time we require 335 kilojoule per kg of the energy that is called as the latent heat now second examples is for the liquid phase to the steam phase in this example what we learn that is a water to solid phase that is liquid to solid phase and water to ice second example we taking for the water to steam that means liquid phase to the gas phase this is also known as the latent heat now what is a 1 kg of water in this glass at 100 degrees centigrade and we supplying the certain quantity of the heat to this water it is start to converting into the vapor but its temperature does not change we supplying the certain quantity of heat this water is converted into the 1 kg of steam at the 100 degrees centigrade then it is called as the latent heat of the vaporization of the water okay similar opposite process is possible that is a 1 kg of steam in the one container at 100 degrees centigrade and we are absorbing certain heat from that then it is converted into this 1 kg of water at 100 degrees centigrade then it is known as the latent heat because temperature remains same here 100 degree water 100 degree steam but phase is change liquid to steam and when it is doing the reverse process then it is steam to means vapor phase to the liquid phase so it is called as the latent heat and amount of energy required is 2256 kilojoule per kg that means 1 kg of water at 100 degree and we need to convert into the steam then we require to supply 200 sorry 2000 256 kilojoule per kg of heat to this water okay the simple thing is that 
it is water or any phase that is a solid phase or liquid phase to the vapor phase but its temperature is same and phase is changed then it is known as the latent heat now seconds we learn for the sensible heat sensible heat means there is a change into the temperature but there is a no phase change is takes place that means phase change is not there but only change in the temperature in latent heat what happened no change in temperature but phase change is takes place in the sensible heat opposite is takes place phase change is not there but only the temperature is changed now this is a 1 kg of water in a glass at the 35 degree centigrade and we supplying some quantity of heat then its temperature is increased to the 36 degree centigrade phase is not changed there is a liquid at 36 again it is a liquid similar opposite process we take that is a 1 kg of water at 36 degree and we absorbing some of the heat and it is come at the 1 kg of water at 35 degree centigrade that means phase is not changed but only temperature is changed then it is known as the sensible heat and sensible heat required to change the 1 degree of the temperature is equal to 4.187 kilojoule per kg for the water for the water and if the quantity is increased and temperature difference is greater than 1 so simple we use the one equation that is the mcp delta t mass of the water cp 4.187 and the delta t what's the initial temperature and temperature after heating or cooling okay so that's the basic difference between the latent heat and sensible heats i hope you understand clearly what is the difference between latent heat and sensible heats thank you for watching this video if you learn then like my video share with your friends and subscribe my channels for watching the more video